Hello Mac OS users, I'm going to show you today how to install Black Desktop Online on your M Silicon chip on the Mac OS Sonoma 15.4. So it's going to be a journey. I hope you enjoy this video. So please stay tuned and we're going to see how it works. So first of all, I need to open my browser and access to the Perl Abyss website, which we will need for the registration, the right way to access, actually access the game. Go uh, to the EU uh, server, I guess. If you're in China, then you should, or in Korea, then you should probably uh, choose your own version. It all depends on you, it doesn't affect anything. You have to registrate make a registration on your account and as soon as, as you may registered yourself you can access to the settings account information so we have a two-step verification service that we need to activate OTP settings we press it and we install it with the Google authenticator that we need to scan with the QR code that we will show over here on this website really important because without the authentication process we will not log in so this is the extra footage that i got from my iphone i access to now app store to download the google authenticator that will allow me to get all of this code or the further logins in the Pell abyss launcher or at the website um, but first of all we need to download it of course and then we'll install then we get our launcher at the plus button we get the QR code option which we will need to scan as we register our authentication number at the Pell Abyss. So now you navigate your camera for the first time and then as you log in you don't need to do this once again. You will just need to write in the code. Next step we're gonna take crossover 25. In my example it's uh, it's the best working method method uh, as of now. It also works um, crossover preview, and yes, as you have to as well now install Black Desert Online. You have to choose the launcher that we need to install. As I now said, we have to take the launcher from the official website Pell Abyss because if you launch from uh, Steam or any other platform, you have a problem um launching it with the tokens and the internet connection as we know it's really really pale in the neck with all drivers so you have to download it when you download it you have to actually make sure that you have it installed for your crossover because any other launcher will not be compatible with the crossover version that we are going to download so make sure everything is uh, ready and so we can proceed with the crossover window now. I press uh, press scroll it up and I see the silhouette installer option. I, I choose it and as it's done, I can actually tick it and we are up to go with the second option now to install it. Choose English and here will be the installation window. Yes, you're gonna install it. So now uh, you have to launch the game with the settings TXPK DirectX 11, not Direct 12. It actually runs on Direct 12, but in this game, this option, it doesn't work, even though it has a translation layer or the D3 Metal. It's available on Linux and Windows, but uh, yeah, not on Mac as it develops, uh, sure we'll get this kind of support. So we can launch a games. So now the first option is done, I uh, we're proceeding to second, is launching the, uh, the main launcher. And we have a little window here to show us that Black Desert's login uh, Pell Abyss is actually running. Uh, when we see this window, we can uh, type in our login as we narrow our cursor a little bit down in this section. We could actually see the, that I could write something in. I write my username here, or actually just email. I was a little bit wrong. When it's there, we just press the tap button. It will be a second, second section with your password. 
we will write our password down and then there will be enter you press the enter and then you will see to the left uh, in the middle there will be six six uh, boxes that you will um, touch with your cursor once again you could see that it's six or seven something like that you you press the first one and access access to your authenticator uh, to write down the code that you have for your email you write it down and as soon as it's there we just press the enter once again and just to make sure that we are access to this uh, we're going through we just look up once again to the window the black abyss update once it's there then we are done now i recommend you checking your finder uh, checking your Pelopis folder. As you download it, you will have to navigate through uh, and see if it's actually 83 gigabytes and so on. I got a slow connection, so I can't download really fast, but it will take you about three hours for the 83 gigabytes of this game. It will change with the time updates and so on, but it will be uh, eventually uh, downloading every time. You just have to open the launcher and it will do the job. When updating, you just have to uh, log in and wait as normally as you download the game. It will take a little bit, uh, like 15 minutes or 10, depending on your internet, or just constant on instant instantly. If your internet is super fast, then it will, you will not notice a uh, thing when you launch the game. It should work like that every time. Since I already downloaded, I access directly to my downloaded bug desert folder and launch the game. We will launch it with the settings DXVK eSync. Now I access to C uh, drive where I can find my PLBs folder. I press and check info if that's already downloaded. If it is then you will have about 83 gigabytes. I launch the launcher and I do the same process of logging in. By accessing to the Black Desert launcher there's an option to save your password. If you're lucky enough you can press it the tick. Never be prompted to log in once again because you ticked um, uh, this uh, small agreement. Then it doesn't uh, let you to do that once again, even with updates. So it's kind of really comfortable. There will be a black desert window where you can just press the button and you're all set. You you got all everything you need. You can launch the game. So here's the launcher. As I seen from the video, the menu loads up just fine, and the settings that I already choose for myself. This is the um, standard process of launching the game. It shouldn't be complicated either in Windows or Mac OS. It just I think this game is really nicely optimized for the platforms, probably for PlayStation and so on. That's that may be the reason why it could be launched so well. You could actually enjoy the process of me just. Um, trying uh, the most highest settings while recording this game on the OBS uh, application. The game is being run on ultra settings in uh, the F Fidelity FX mode activated, so it means it's all ultra, everything is being on the max, except for the far distance objects that are just rendering, threatening my uh, integrated M Silicon uh, chip really out, so that means it doesn't really go good with some uh, particles, the particles of GPU rendering in this case. It runs just well and does not give me any shutter and you could enjoy the process. I really hope you enjoyed this quite small tutorial and uh, if you did uh, keep keep up watching my vids, I don't really insist. Just make sure you contribute to the macOS so we grow bigger. Stay, stay really cool and until next time. One they fear. In their tongue is Dovakin, Dragonborns.